dive in. Looking to launch one forwards. There's the skipper, Adam Swandy. Just going to get away from him just a little bit too much. There's Arvan, who's getting caught in possession again. Andrew Hall oh, was big and strong on that occasion. Well, a little talk back there from Andrew Hall. Results in a free kick for Singapore, taken quickly by our Aravin. The ball alleged to have gone out of play there and it to skip back in and then out again. So Singapore retained possession. Zappi, who's looked lively since he's come on, looks to keep possession. Here's Armstrong who just helps that into the corner. It's a great ball, but Hyrule Sinus is right on his toes and launches one nearly the length of the field. Little flick on it's a dangerous flick as well because Ben Jenner needs to be on his toes, just hooks it clear. And Newcastle now need to sort themselves out. The board has gone up just in front of us. Five minutes of stoppage time will be played. So five minutes for Singapore to snatch a dramatic equaliser. Once clear by Ben Askins, who has a little hobble after that. It looks as though cramps setting in and fatigue there. As that ball lost into the box. That's an important defensive head out from Liam Gibson. And held on by James Atkinson, only as far as Arabin. Zaki plays it wide. Irvan. Well, oh, skips past the challenge, no problem. Puts a great ball into the box, and again, and, uh, not alert on that occasion. A chance here, but just gone for Singapore. But the danger is not clear. Yazid was getting in there as well. Here is Zulfadmi. Zulfadmi to the edge of the box. Zaki looking to create half a yard for himself. They can't clear their lines, Newcastle, at the moment. And it's just bobbling around like a pinball machine. And it's going to come straight back at them. Alvin just flicks and dicks that one in. An important header, Askins with the challenge. Another strong challenge from Atkinson. A hook clear. Uh, Singapore throw no caution to the wind at all and send everybody forwards. Anvil into Swandy. Swandy a little bit of magic from him. Zaki out wide. Here's Evan. Evan into space. Another chance for Azar. Azar goes past one, pulls it back. And we're up to it. And it's the substitute is in tonight. into stoppage time and uh, what an important goal that is in that young man's career great work from Singapore they really did put and keep the pressure on but he was Johnny on the spot and Rafki Yazid makes absolutely no mistake and it's almost a carbon copy goal of Singapore's second goal that they scored in this second half Rafki absolutely no mistake and we're all square could we possibly see a winner in this game? Well, Singapore really buoyed by that. And dare I say, could we have real late, late drama here? Well, they're lively as Zaki is grooving, sticks past the challenge quite easily. Zaki tries from range. Well, you feel that that was the wrong option with four blue shirts ahead of him to play with. But Singapore have fought their way back into this game. And that is going to make Monday's game between Juventus and Newcastle United very, very important. But more importantly, on Wednesday, Singapore will take on Juventus. That could be... A decider for them they will have an extra day's rest instead of Newcastle who will only have well some less than 48 hours to recover before their second fixture Zaki gets in front of the ball Newcastle want to get on with this quickly because they're trying desperately to clinch a winner and he's been played forward Hall with a chance and he's flicked it past the keeper and now they just clears his lines so a chance 
for Newcastle to nick it right at the deck. Now the substitute, Daniel Balassa, trying to create that problem there. Just some 60 seconds to go now. And Singapore buoyed by the fact that they've just got the equaliser, but a bit of composure shown there from Jordan Story. Keeps it easy. Well, given away again to Andy. Jim's past one. Great ball to Eddie Forward. And it could be a substitute. Paris one. Paris one. Goes past the keeper. Can you believe what we have just seen? The crowd go ballistic. And it is the second substitute. Paris one. Who scores. And Newcastle have been offending right at the deck here. In the first game of the 23rd Cannon Lions City Cup. 2011 first game. Singapore have come back from the dead, and it is Valentine that will take the plaudits tomorrow. And Disney finishing coolly. Fox the keeper. Just skip past Sam Busby, and then the composer to slot it into the empty net means that Singapore surely now will see this through. And after being 3 1 down for the majority of the second half, there is the final whistle. Tears of joy from Singapore, particularly in the centre circle, and it's Newcastle that looked disconsolate. They can't believe that they've let a two-goal lead slip. Then is the man that all eyes were looking at, Adam Swandy, who has created all the problems, but it's Barry Swand that will take the plaudits. as a full-time here in the 23rd Cannon Lions City Cup 2011. First group A game, Singapore come from behind to beat Newcastle United by four goals to three.